Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. With the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Beta running again this weekend, I thought it'd be handy to wrap up those quick weapon guides, going over some of the new moves for each weapon. I've covered pretty much everything already. The only two things left are, of course, the bowguns. And since the changes for those pertain more to the mods, I figured I'd group them into one video. We'll cover how to use them, what they do, basically everything you need to know to dive in and get started. If you've missed any of the other weapon videos, you can of course find them over on the channel. And if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and let me know if you have any more questions. But now, let's turn our attention to the bowgun, starting off with the light bowgun. Now for the bowguns, there aren't really any combo changes I need to go over, because, well, they're guns, so fundamentally they behave the same way. You can, however, whilst aiming, click in the right stick on R3 to swap between firing mode and slinger, so if you want to fire off your clutch claw, then you can swap to it first, then hold L2 and press circle. The light bowgun also has its own weapon-specific move when grappled. You'll impale a wyvern blast into the side of a monster, backflip off, and fire to detonate it. Being a light weapon, you'll also drop slinger ammo in the process, but you're pretty familiar with that already, so what's new? Well, there are two bowguns in the demo. One of them has the new evading reload mod on. With this, if you perform a sliding evade, following a shot, you will then spin the gun around, which looks pretty awesome, and you'll also reload in the process. You'll also notice, like all mods, these can be stacked, and since this weapon has two of these equipped, you reload two bullets each time you slide, which is super handy. Alternatively, if we grab the other bowgun, this one has the Wyvern Blast counter mod. This mod can only be equipped once, but it allows you to fire the Wyvern Blast forwards instead of stabbing it into the ground like we do right now in World. In doing this, the mine has a much shorter fuse, but if the monster sets it off, it does considerably more damage, hence the name Wyvern Blast counter, since you want to use it more reactively. Now this stage, we're unsure what other mods might be added in Iceborne, but for the purpose of the beta, that is your light bowgun. So now, Let's turn our attention to the Heavy Bowgun. Much like the Light Bowgun, whilst aiming you can press R3 to switch to Slinger mode and from there you can then fire off your Clutch Claw. Grappling onto the monster will allow you to machine gun fire into the monster's side before flying off in a hefty explosion. Being a heavier weapon, it creates a weak spot. What's new for the Bowgun are again the mods. The first Bowgun mod is the Wyvern Heart mod. This can again only be equipped once, but with this on, consecutive hits with your Wyvern Heart attack will do more damage, seeing the numbers build up to a point. Meanwhile, the other Bowgun, this is the Wyvern Snipe type, equipped with a special scope. Wyvern Snipe has changed so that it no longer pierces the monster, but instead does massive damage to weak spots. But the special scope, if you hold down L2 and press triangle and circle, you will equip this new scope that allows you to go into first person mode. Now, this isn't just a handy scope for aiming, this also comes with a new mechanic called super critical range. By default, the scope is white, but when it glows orange, this is super critical range. You can hold down R1 and move the right stick up and down to adjust the range, and typically the window for super critical range is quite tight and it varies based on ammo types, but if you land a shot in this distance, it'll deal much more damage. And this could also apply to most most of your ammo types, including the Wyvern Snipe itself. Additionally, the game will remember if you have this equipped, so you can put it on, run around and go straight back into the special scope mode. Furthermore, you can also equip it on your radial menu for quick access too. But that, my friends, is pretty much it for the time being. Again, there are no doubt more mods in the full game, but for now, that should help you get stuck in this weekend. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.